Hey guys, welcome back to another video here on Toned In Entertainment, where we love pop culture. Today, it's time for another TV show. Look back, now Hollywood has no problem taking a popular TV series and turning it into the movie, and the same can be said for the television industry. In 1995, the movie Dangerous Minds was released and was a commercial success. With a budget of $23 million, it would go on to gross nearly $85 million domestically and $179 million worldwide. Now, just one year later, ABC would go on to create a 17 episode series based off the hit movie. Now, I've looked everywhere around the internet to try to find the entire series, and I've had no luck. I've even looked for physical copies, still nothing. This television series is very scarce. Now, luckily, somebody did upload episode one here to YouTube, so that's what I'm gonna base my review off of. How well episode one, whether it did the movie any justice, and if it laid a solid foundation, moving forward. All right, guys, let's get on with my television retro review of Dangerous Minds, the TV series. Now, very similar to the movie, former Marine Luann Johnson, who is not played by Michelle Pfeiffer, but instead Annie Potts this time, is going back to teaching. And she's going to be teaching a group of troubled youngsters in a program called The Academy. Now going from the big screen to a television series, especially on a network such as ABC at the time, the tone of the show is definitely a lot less darker and it's much more viewer friendly. However, there will still be plenty of dramatic moments. Now, even though this series was on network TV, watching it here in 2020, I actually came across a couple of WTF moments. Two of them that I'm gonna point out is some of the language that's actually used in this episode would have never made it past the FCC here in 2020. Plus there's actually an instance when Luann, the teacher, goes over and gives a kiss to a student on the cheek in the middle of class. Now this pilot does what a pilot should do. It introduces us to a wide variety of characters. It sets the tone of the TV show moving forward and hooks us to get us to come back. Now Luann will definitely have her hands full, not only as a teacher, but also trying to be a mentor to the kids outside of the class. Two instances is where she's trying to help one of the students with a custody battle. And at the end of this episode, one of her students even gets arrested, which sets the tone moving forward. Now, if you've seen the movie Dangerous Minds, you have to be familiar with the hit song by Coolio, Gangster's Paradise. It was very prominent in the movie and it's also played here in the TV show. Now, Coolio actually makes a cameo here in this pilot. He's a sex ed teacher who comes to teach the kids in the academy about the importance of safe sex. Now, do I recommend Dangerous Minds, a TV series? Yes, I do, at least watching the pilot episode as that's the only thing that's available. I'm hoping that one day, ABC will actually release this entire series so we can see how it all unfolded. If I had to choose one between the movie and the TV series, I would still go with the movie, but that doesn't mean that this TV series is something to pass on, at least with the pilot episode. I did enjoy it, and my final score for the pilot episode of the Dangerous Minds TV series is a 7.5 out of 10. It was fun, it was interesting, and it was intriguing, and I would really like to see how this television series unfolded. Now, for those of you out there who did actually get to watch the entire series of Dangerous Minds, how was it? Was it any good? And is it something worth checking out if it does get released one day? All right, guys, if you like television show lookbacks like this, make sure you subscribe here to Toned In Entertainment for future videos. Subscribe to the channel. Do it. Go now. Do it now.